I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. By now, most of y'all have already heard of rumors surrounding Stuart Haas Racing and their future in NASCAR. Uh, right now, they get an Xfinity program of uh, Cole Custer and Riley Herbst, two underrated drivers. Uh, I believe they're destined to do great things. And then on the cup side of things, you got a four-car organization. Kevin Harvick, the 2014 Cup Series champion. Eric Amarola, multi-race winner in the Cup Series. Chase Briscoe, a one-time race winner. And you got Ryan Priest in the 41, who's been successful in the cup side of things. He's won numerous Xfinity races and also a few truck races. So you got four really good drivers. The deal is Kevin Harvick is going to retire and Josh Berry is going to go into that four. So that ride light right there long term is set. Josh Berry, the 10 car, Eric Amarola, his contract is up and he's getting to the point where he's in the range of retiring. And Smithfield is not coming back at all. So that 10 car is probably going to be wide open. The 14 of Chase Briscoe, he's going absolutely nowhere unless there's a change in manufacturer. Ford is not going to let him go. The 41 of Ryan Priest, he signed a one-year deal at the beginning of the year. This year it ends, and he may be looking at different options because he's not doing too hot right now. And it leads Stuart Haas to the point where they have to decide what they're going to do in the future. Obviously, a lot of y'all have seen, including myself, Gene Haas has actually taken a huge step back from the NASCAR side of things. He's investing more and more into Formula One, which makes a whole lot of sense if you're looking at the business perspective because Formula One has a big market and a big turnout. So he's going to want to do good in that. And NASCAR is like the second thing to him. And as a NASCAR fan, it kind of stings, but it's the truth. If you're in his position, you do the same exact thing. You're just wanting to make money. And that's what he's doing. So if Gene Haas is starting to step back, they're going to want to start easing it up for Tony Stewart. Because Tony Stewart, he may be a very wealthy man, but he cannot run a four-car organization by himself, uh, funny and all. So they may sell two of the charters. And it's rumored that it's going to be the 10 and 41, obviously. So you're going to have Josh Berry, Chase Briscoe, possibly being a uh, the only Stuart Haas Cup Series drivers next year. But there's also rumors going around because next year is their final year under contract with Ford. And if they change a manufacturer, I would believe it would be Chevy. Toyota cannot negotiate a long-term period. So that's a big red flag. Maybe we see a different manufacturer come in, Audi, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Dodge, I don't know. It's, it's far-fetched uh, for some of them, but Chevy seems the most likely. Stuart Haas Racing was with them in the past until they made a big change in 2017. Uh, so it wouldn't be a big change for them because they're used to it by now, uh, but it will affect more than they think it will. Just like when Kyle Busch made the change to RCR, not only did he have to change manufacturer, but his truck team did also. It went from Toyota to Chevy. So, in retrospect, it's going to happen again. Uh, Stuart Haas Racing Cup is going to be Chevy. Xfinity is going to be Chevy. And that's going to be one less Ford team out there. And Ford is going to be left in a dumpster fire because you got drivers of the likes of Zane Smith, Ty Majeski, Haley Deegan, and that can go on and on and on. And they're going to be in a bad position because they're going to be at the point where if they're going to go to Cup, they're going to have to leap the Xfinity Series, which is a big no-no, but there's no current Xfinity Ford program besides Stuart Haas Racing. And if they lose that, you got Ryan Sieg Racing. And let's be honest here, they're not getting the full support for Ford. Uh, but if something happens to Stuart Haas Racing, it may be the hottest team on the grid. But right now, they're not. And it's a big question mark surrounding Ford and our development program moving forward. So we'll have to figure out put pieces of the puzzle together as the weeks go on. But that's what I got in the first video today. Steer House Racing looking to sell two charters and possibly change manufacturer in the year of 2025.